Hi, my name is Jennifer Harbin and I have a brain injury. This is my story. On the 2nd of December 2005, I just got home from visiting my brother in Bowman Hospital when he had a major surgery. I left my house heading to the bus stop and I missed the bus. Why? I was crossing Glasnevin Avenue and I was hit by a car. I was told that I went 50 foot in the air and landed on my head. I was rushed to the Matter Hospital and I was taken to the ICU. I was in a coma for three weeks and I woke up just in time for Christmas. I was told that I was the best Christmas present ever by my parents and my friends. But it was a horrible Christmas. It was so horrible. When I woke up, I didn't know what had happened to me. The actual memory of me leaving my house and trying to get that bus is not physically in my memory because of the trauma to my brain. And when I woke up, I was told what happened. And I was really upset. I couldn't speak, read, write. And I was so frustrated with it. Like, it was horrible. Um, I was in the Matter Hospital till the 10th of January. And because I couldn't speak, I only had a, or could hardly speak. All the words that I had was ma, da, yes, no. And everyone, every single person who visited me was called Catherine. I could see their name in my head, but it always come out as Catherine. But when my friend Catherine came to the hospital, I was delighted because she was Catherine. <laughs> um, during my stay in the Manor Hospital, I had to go to speech therapy. Um, occupation therapy, physiotherapy. I had to see the neurologist. I had to see a lot of doctors. And then when I got out, I still had to go back. Before the accident, I was doing a portfolio course in Kalashi Ida, and I loved it. it. Like, art is my passion. Like, it really is. On the day I was taken to that hospital, I dropped my portfolio into the National College of Art and Design. During my stay in the rehab hospital, my dad took it DIT in Portland Row. And then on my last day of the rehab hospital, I took it, my portfolio to Dunleary, IADT. After I finished in the rehab hospital, my speech had improved a lot and my reading was still very weak and pretty bad but I could read a bit. My spelling was still awful but I did get a little bit better as well. In the following September I actually got into DIT uh, to do a course in fine art. So September 2006 I started. It was the beginning of the best four years of my life. In June 2010, I finished my degree in fine art and it was great. And then October gone, 2010, it was my graduation and it was great. And um, I got my uh, degree and I got the, the photographs and here they are. And the graduation photo. My parents are very proud of me. My friends are just, just, they can't believe how far I've progressed from just over five years ago, not being able to talk. And now I have a degree. It's great. It really, really is great. So that's my story. The point I'm trying to make is, please cross at the lights. If you're cycling, wear a high-vis coat. If you're driving, don't drink and drive. Don't take drugs and drive. It is idiotic. And I can't believe how people can do that. Don't be naive about what could happen to you. My experience was horrible. 
but it's nothing to s some of the people that I've met who also have brain injuries who suffered ten hundred ten times a hundred times thousands of times worse than me so please don't be a fool just just don't thank you